Hey guys, I just wanted to come on here real quickly, do this little video. Um, to kind of let you see something, if I can get up on it, get it up here on the screen. This uh, image here is from season six, uh, the the complete see complete season six uh, disc, uh, which I have uh, right here. I don't know if you can see it. Um, right here, the complete you know season six right there. I don't know if you can see it. Let me uh, pull it out. Uh, right here. Complete season six. Uh, and the episode that I paused that on to, to show you that image is Crystalline Part 1. The first episode of season six. And uh, the reason... Uh, uh, the reason, basically, that um, I paused it is to kind of back up something I've said before. You see, with the UHD Blu-ray players, they act, especially the smart ones, uh, even even the non-smart ones, but mostly the smart UHD Blu-ray players, um, it shows you that it does upscale the... The disc, if you will, because it's an ultra HD player meant for 4K television and all that, you know, UHD television, you know, it'll upscale the image. So when you look at it, it says 4K at 20 frame, 24 frames per second. So in other words, you are watching basically a, a DVD, which I'm assuming is presented um, at the highest pace, sorry for the fingers being in front of the camera there, but at the highest pace of 720p at 60 frames or 24 frames, whatever, and you're actually seeing it upscaled a bit in imagery by the by the technology within the, the Blu-ray player. So in other words, it's upscaling it a lot higher. Um, the same could be said, basically... Uh, for something like this. Something like this here, which I recently just got, the Bell movie on Blu-ray. Could be scaled up to 4K at 30 frames per second. If you understand what I'm saying. So, yeah, basically the reason uh, for, like I say, the, the video, um, if you will, the reason for the video, if you will, it, like I said, it, as well as the picture you're seeing, is to give you an idea that, you know, when I talk about this kind of stuff, and whether you believe it or not, this is evidence right here. This is evidence right here that any DVD you have, whether it's a DVD plus R, like a recording, if you will, a DVD minus R recording, whether it's something you burn off your computer, the Windows DVD maker, or Nero DVD maker, whatever, um, when you play it, in a 4K Blu-ray player, you know, on a 4K television, it's going to display it at 4K. The imagery will be upscaled to 4K. The um, frames per second, though, will be all dependent on, you know, how, you know, how it's uh, basically visualized. Like, the image will be upscaled to 4K, but the frames will all depend on how... Um, it's being presented like you know is it being presented at 24 frames frames or close to it 60 frames no because normally 60 frames believe it or not uh off of you know things i record off my dvd recorder the past ones i've had and even the current one get seen at 60 frames per second so it upscales them to 60 frames uh from i'm guessing the regular 30. and you know, with um, stuff I might burn onto DVD, you know, through my Windows DVD maker, you know, that gets looked at at 4K at 30 frames per second. So it kind of upscales it maybe from like 24 or something like that. The point is, um, whether you were always wondering about it, didn't think it was legit or even possible, um, you know, or didn't believe, you know, that would that could happen... This is the proof right here. This is the proof that if you have a 4K player and a 4K television, you're going to be able to watch a lot of the stuff that you have on DVD 
in Blu-ray, in 4K. The frame rate, though, is all dependent on how, you know, it's formatted, basically. Like, you know, basically how many frames, you know, the, you know, it could be looked at depending, like I said, on how it's formatted from either if it's recorded or if it's something purchased, like let's say the set I just showed you, it's all dependent on that. But again, I wanted to come on here, guys, give you a bit of a, um, you know, a bit of proof that, you know, I'm, you know, I'm not making stuff up. I also wanted to show Zara Nizarak, Sean, uh, a little bit of this, because I know he kind of goes back and forth at times with me and other people that try to uh, debate him on it. And uh, hopefully now with, you know, places like Discotech Media and others, you know, putting out series on Blu-ray, you know, complete series on Blu-ray, whether it's just the regular standard definitions or not, you know, he hopefully, and I say with all due respect to Sean, hopefully understands that this is indeed possible, that the upscaling is possible uh, with 4K um, technology, especially the players connected to the televisions of the same um, presentation, the same quality, you know, imagery, if you know what I mean. But anyway, though, guys, I just wanted to talk about that, bring it up, bring it up and until next time, let me know what your thoughts are down below. Comment if you like, live chat at during the premiere. Super chat, super stickers are open. Super Thanks, it will be enabled afterwards, and until then, I am out.